Hello besties and welcome back. Welcome if y'all are new. It is your girl Jazzy J on the mic and this is Earth Vibes Tarot. This is a Capricorn only channel but you are all very welcome here to the messages. Sit back, relax, take a chance, smash your like buttons, leave a comment down below. Just don't forget to make sure that y'all are subscribed here to the channel for more content and for more of me. We are trying to reach our goal of 20k. We have been trying to reach that goal you guys. We've got big goals for this year. Lots of wonderful and exciting things coming. So make sure you guys are subscribed here to the channel. I love you all. I appreciate you. I have two shout outs for this video. Remember, you guys don't have to do anything to receive a shout out. This is just something that I do personally for my subscribers, for the people that consistently comment, are consistently here, active in the community. It's just a way for me to say thank you, a way for me to say hello. So in today's video, I am shouting out Boogie203, Fernando. Hello, my love. Thank you so much. You are consistently on every video commenting. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you. And Miss Angel Jones 9882. Miss Angel, you are also consistent, consistently posting. I love to see your face. I love you. Thank you so much. So these are the two that I am shouting out. Boogie203 and Angel Jones 9882. Love you guys. Love you guys. All right. So... Maybe I will actually like tag you guys like in the comment or something like that. Let's do that too. So I love you guys. So let's go ahead and get into this reading. We're going to see who is coming forward with love. We've got our cue card. If you guys have any suggestions for readings that you guys want to see, make sure you guys comment down below. So that way I can plug you in. I will obviously comment. I will like your little comment, save it, and I will comment on it so that way... You will see your cue card at some point here. And it can be a question for the collective. Obviously, collective questions. This is not for personal readings. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what is coming through here for the collective. Who is coming forward with love, please, spirit, for the collective of Capricorns that are here with us? Angel spirits and guides, thank you so much for this message. We have got a lot of energy coming through here. Wow, so you have self-awareness, declutter boundaries, patience, and be open to change, Capricorn. That's why this sagey sage is still going here. Tapping into your higher self, question your routines and patterns, self-awareness. Capricorn, it feels like whoever this is that's coming forward with love, this person is going to be coming forward with this same understanding as you, but it's going to be coming when you have this self-awareness, right? When you are starting to question your routines and your patterns and like, is this a healthy cycle? Meaning this be open to change. Is there someone, is there a pattern that's coming into my life that I need to release that I need to let go of? And whether that is with these particular people, this particular type of energy, this particular type of person that comes forward, that's what this means. Be receptive to new experiences. Change leads to growth. This is important. New experiences. What is a new experience here for you, Capricorn? Patience. Manifestations are on the way. So this is also about being patient. Patience is a virtue and understanding that this patience is because we are needing to become more self-aware. We're needing to be open to change here, Capricorn, as the ebbs and flow of life are coming and going right now. And this is, again, decluttering and boundaries. A lot of us are needing to declutter our life physically, emotionally, mentally. And whether this is people, whether this is jobs, whether this is living uh, living situations, environments, whatever, it's about this decluttering. And I was talking about this in a couple readings. I'm pretty sure it was a live. It was about uh, spring cleaning. Declutter. Let go of old items. Create new sacred space for yourself. And this will only happen. You'll only be able to truly declutter when you become self-aware. And people don't really understand that. Self-awareness is important because without it, you're not going to be able to let, to let go of the shit that is consistently coming up, consistently being dug up and bought to the surface for you to work on. So this boundaries energy, know when to put up and let your walls down. This is, this is an important time for boundaries here, Capricorn. This is going to be an important time for you to 
And again, in order to truly declutter, you have to understand how to set these boundaries for yourself, right? This is this is not necessarily just about how how you're setting boundaries for um, other people. Let me back you guys up a little bit. I have shorts on. Mind your business. Since we are recording this way now, until I can get my camera, 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 um, so we can have like a more, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so in order to truly declutter, you have to have boundaries and know how to set those for yourself. And this is about being open to change, right? Patience with this energy, patience with yourself, with this energy, Capricorn. Like, look how cute these little... Like the whole pink setup, like is just, I might start getting more pink glasses to kind of like go with our backdrop. I'm loving the whole situation. Bottom of the deck is abundance, obsession, and creativity. <sighs> Capricorn. You can quite literally feel this energy coming into your life. You can feel this person. You can feel this energy. This person is coming from a different area. They're coming from a different area. That's how you'll know. They're coming from somewhere new. They're coming from somewhere different, coming from a different vantage point, viewpoints, energy. Coming from a different energy. This person is not like everybody else that you have known before if you have allowed yourself to do the work. Like we have to be, we have to be realistic with ourselves here. So we have the modern love tarot deck. Let me like start writing these things down as well for you guys, because if you guys are looking for the decks that I use, I am slowly getting that up. I just wanted to at least get the the page up on the website. So I did that as well. You guys can actually check that out in the description box. Those are Amazon affiliate links. So I will receive a small commission when you guys use that link. You don't have to, you can just type it into Amazon. It doesn't matter. Um, but I want to be able to share all the things that we are using here on the channel. So that way, if you guys want to do the like purchase them for yourself, you can as well. Okay, so we're gonna be using the Modern Love Tarot deck. This is not always available on Amazon, um, but I will I will still link it. And of course, I will also put links um, that are non-commission based to other sites for other cards that I have purchased like that are not from Amazon, they're just from people's websites. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what is going on. Tell us about this person that is coming forward with love for Capricorn. So I saw Ace of Swords. So there's a there's a big truth here. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Oof. Capricorn. This person could be a little bit older. Definitely having Earth vibes energy. Earth vibes tarot. This person could be a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. Um, this person is looking for stability. I'm going to say that. They're definitely looking for stability. They're looking to share right? Share long-term, share longevity, have this kind of familial type energy here with you. Um, again, and in order to, to see this quite clearly, to see what this person is truly looking to, to bring to the connection, um, you have to declutter, right? You have to declutter while also setting boundaries here. Look at this, six of pentacles in the sun as we split the deck. This is just going, woo, this is just showing us here. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a move involved for a lot of you Capricorn. I'm seeing five of cups and then the chariot. There's definitely um, going in a new direction. There's going to be some sadness. There's going to be some sorrow around leaving things behind. But sharing this happiness, sharing this wealth, sharing this abundance with you. Show us more here for this person that's coming in for Capricorn. So we have the Queen of Swords. This person is very honest. The Queen of Swords can get a bad rep because she can be labeled as the bitch in the connection, but 
let me tell you this. Honesty is the best policy. And this person is coming forward, straightforward. Like, I got to tell you something. This is this this is how it is, X, Y, and Z. I'm not sugarcoating anything. I'm not hiding anything. This is a connection of truth, right? It's not going to be just fluffy, fluffy, whatever, whatever. This is going to be very clear. Bottom of the deck is the hangman, the fool, and the two of swords. Yeah, this is, this is not a situation that this person is taking lightly, meaning they're not going to be coming forward all frilly, frilly, foo-foo, because this is not something that is it's not a light light situation there they take this very seriously so it's going to prove that they want something serious here with you yeah we have the knight of swords and the high priestess i feel like you can almost sense and pick up this energy from this person or they're sensing and picking up this energy off of you i do feel like this person could also have air somewhere in their chart there's lots of air energy here queen of swords knight of swords aries um or excuse me aquarius libra uh gemini and energy <clears throat> aquarius libra gemini and energy um just understand that sometimes not everybody wants to be beating around the bush there are people that are going to be very straightforward to the point um and clear about certain situations So we have the five of swords, temperance, and the lovers. Yeah, this energy that this person is coming forward with, let me be very clear here, Capricorn, the energy that this person is particularly coming forward with, it's going to challenge what you know. It's going to challenge what you're used to, which is why you have to be open to this change. Um, it's going to be the exact opposite of what you're used to. And it's going to bring you closer to a place of harmony, bliss, and peace. So let's just say that. Right? Let's just say that. <sighs> Bottom of the deck is the moon, the ace of swords, and the six of wands. I feel like deep down you know... You know that this is this is going to be right for you. You know that this is going to be good for you. You know that this situation, that this person, that this energy is going to be exactly what you need. Let's do a little clarifying here for Capricorn. With the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords, tell us about this conversation, this clarification, this confirmation that the person is bringing, this straightforward message or communication. Tell us about this. Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords energy, please. Oh, yes. 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 Capricorn, 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 Capricorn. I would advise you to keep this to yourself. I would advise you to keep whatever this is under wraps. Um, because this is about a new beginning. This is about new adventure. This is about something very exciting, taking a leap of faith, taking a chance here on life. The four coins and the high priestess is secretive, keeping things close to the vest, close to your chest, not, not showing all of what you have here. Um, it's going to be important for you to do possibly a little bit of saving um, because there's some sort of, and now you have the high priestess twice. So I do feel like there's something very unexpected, something that's unseen um, more. There's more to this than that meets the eye basically. And this is something that is going to, sweep you off your feet, so to speak. It's going to feel really good. Yeah. Bottom of the deck is the star, the king of cups and the wheel of fortune. This is like a wish or a dream that has come true. This is something that you never thought you could actually achieve. Um, this is a goal. This is a wish. This is a dream, something that you truly, truly want, truly trying to manifest here in your life. Um, 
I would advise you to, again, keep this energy to yourself while this is happening because this is going to be an inflow of abundance, influx of abundance into your life here. So let's keep going here. Let's take a look at what this person's intentions are towards Capricorn in love. What are this person's intentions towards Capricorn in love, please, spirit? So we have the four swords. We have a very peaceful energy. This is a very calm energy. We have the king of swords. We have the nine of wands. Give us one more. This person's intentions. So I'm going to be honest. Yeah, ace of pentacles. This person is going to challenge you. Um, to really come up out of your shell and to break your walls down. And that's what this boundaries energy is. No one to put up and let your walls down. So as you declutter, decluttering usually means I need to put my walls up with certain energies, certain people, certain places, certain things. And also letting your walls down, that's the be open to change. That's the second half of boundaries meaning I need to let my walls down and be open to certain things that I have been waiting for, manifestations that I've been asking for. In order to, to get them, the things that I've been patiently waiting for, I have to then go through that boundary um, boundary cycle, basically, meaning you have to put your walls up, put your walls down to certain things. And that's what this is. This is allowing this energy in because now, if you guys remember, we had the Queen of Swords, so now you have the king of swords, you have the match. So now there is a true pair. There is something that you are really right here with. You know how people are like, we're here, like we're here. That's what that, that's what this is. But in order to be here, like completely, fully physically and not just spiritually, mentally or emotionally, you're going to have to make some changes here, being open to change. Once again, there is some, there's something that's going to challenge you, um, in the situation now what this challenge may be capricorn is going to again possibly relate back to uh your your childhood possibly relate back to a cycle that you're finally completing here like this is getting to the root cause of why maybe you can consistently were repeating these cycles why um x y and z but this is something that's going to put a lot of things into perspective here for you, Capricorn, I'm going to be quite honest. There's going to be a lot of perspective gaining um, with this situation here. But there is a true match. There is a true pair. Um, I do feel like it's like you and another energy are like right here, um, really having that clear understanding about certain things, certain situations. Um, I think that that's important. I think that that's important to, to note. I do feel like whatever this is, this is bringing a lot of peace. This person intends to bring a lot of peace into your life. You know, regardless of what the situation is, there is a lot of peace that is coming in with this. Again, now you have the star at the bottom of the deck again. So double star. I'm going to be honest. This is wish fulfillment. This is a dream come true. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. This is something in the Ten of Cups. This is something that you have quite literally been waiting to, to have. Oh, I love this for you, Capricorn. I love this for us. I think this is beautiful. Um, I need to get, I can't remember the name of this deck. I gotta get the name of this deck. Okay. Let's do a little clarifying here. We're almost at 20 minutes. This would definitely be one that we could extend, but we're not going to. I'm going to start bringing more extendeds back for you guys. Obviously, y'all know I don't do that for all the readings, but those that are like intense like this and we're like having a good flow, I can't be I can't be rambling on for 40 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody's not going to engage in that. So we have the eight of cups or the excuse me, the eight of swords and the three of cups here. We're not going to keep these because I really don't know where this is this is going right now. But the Eight of Swords energy is obviously feeling like 
you can't escape, excuse me, like can't escape from a certain situation, feeling blocked, feeling closed off. Um, and three of cups is a form of celebration, form of happiness, form of joy. Capricorn, I feel like you're going to finally feel, yeah, feel the freedom you've been wanting, if that makes sense. Feel that, that free energy that you've been looking for in your life, relationship, job, business, entrepreneurship, whatever. And we have this Ace of Pentacles here. We can't ignore that brand new beginning opportunity for a brand new manifest, manifest manifestation to come alive tell us about this nine of wands here we have the page of cups they're saying there's a message in the madness yeah the hierophant And the seven of wands. I feel like this is something that is like an ancestral tie. I feel like for a lot of you, this is having to do with past life energy. I feel like there is a message in this madness to try to show you what you are trying to actually finally break away from. Um, because I feel like a lot of this is having to do with again, longevity type energy, energy that you've been dealing with for maybe not even this lifetime and you've been fighting it fighting it fighting it this is really about accepting it dealing with it completing it yeah page of swords seven of coins seven of swords There's a message in the madness and there's a message in this blessing because it's like receiving this blessing means the lesson has been learned. The situation has been handled. All right, let's get a closing message here. I'm also looking at creating, um, well, I'm in the process of it, creating another deck to use I just have to see and this is the only version of this deck but maybe I will have a couple available for purchase if you guys want that we have emotional energy water energy closing messages here for Capricorn yeah past life connection this is Star seat light worker, you were put here to resolve this particular emotional blockage within your timeline. We have energy of passion, fire energy. So you have emotional. So this is something that has been dimming your fire, dimming your creativity, dimming your sacral chakra energy. Give us one more here. Absolutely. Absolutely. I already know what this card is. Yep. Closing cycles. Capricorn, y'all already know what the deal is. I'm leaving this message here. If you guys found this message insightful and that it resonated, oh my God. Capricorn, if you wanted to get an even bigger confirmation, bottom of the deck is dark energy, rooted belief systems, and shadow work with the tarot divination card. Come on now. Y'all know I don't do this for play play. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you smash that like button and I will speak to you guys in the next video. Where's my thing? Where's my ding? <laughs>